at the last pass. But they opened up the Netherlands there. And England lead after 40 minutes. Jamie Vardy. Hello there and welcome to the next episode of the England FM18 save. This is a squad that we're going to face in our second World Cup game. I'm not going to show you what happened in the last game. If you haven't seen it, then go check it out. But this is the lineup we're going in further than this game. Jack Button in goal, a back four of Walker, Stones, Keane and Shaw. Midfield of Chalabar. Deep, Lalana in midfield. Jesse Lingard on the left, Damari Gray on the right, Dele Alli just behind Harry Kane, and everyone else on the bench. Tammy Abraham has scored five goals in eight appearances for the England, most of them under me. I think they're all under me actually, but probably feels a bit unjust that Harry Kane's starting his second game in a row up front. But anyway, let's get into this game against the host Russia. Hopefully, there isn't any match fixing, but probably shouldn't talk about that. Here we are then, Russia. England kick us off. Not really sure what they're playing at, but I mean, early possession is probably a good thing. Dan Ali, they've got options on the left. Does choose that option in Jesse Lingard, cuts inside, back towards Dan Ali, towards Harry Kane, way too hard of a pass, and looks like the mess that they got themselves into, they saw it out pretty quickly. England on top of the group at the moment. Can they go one lap and secure that top of the group? Damari Gray cross from the corner. Not that great. He's got a second opportunity there. This time it is a lot better. Still the same result. Russia defender heads it away. Alana back to Walker. This is Luke Shaw. Got plenty of options. Chooses Lingard. Cuts in towards Damari Gray, shooting opportunity, and he does take that opportunity. Damari Gray, assisted by Jesse Lingard, puts England 1-0 up after just eight minutes. This Russia side are probably a lot better than a lot of people say, but England are just tearing them apart. And if England are tearing them apart, they can't be that good. Molov, Tajika. What? <laughs> oh my God. I'm just going to sit back and just purely enjoy that goal he will be proud of that goal and it's his first goal for russia trust georgie dika from that free kick launches it forward shut off knocks it down to Zika, knocks it down jack butland in england net has absolutely no chance Dimari gray cut out by petrov back to Zika. is he a center back i just got that Better not be. Yoroshin to fall to Smolov. Better not score again. Butler net with a save this time. Not sure how he missed that, but anyway, Russia corner. The game was looking pretty comfortable after 10 minutes. But after 27, it's not looking so comfortable with our lead. Could be going towards a defeat. Walker, not sure why he's just kicked out straight to Smolov. Demari Gray's won it back though and launches an England attack. Here we are then, second half, England against Russia. Russia to kick us off this time. Jaguar, Tushika, kick off highlight. It's probably nothing going to happen, but back to Akinfeyev. Launches it forward towards Smolov. Shalabar's going to drop it down to John Stones. Not sure whether that was the best option, but it worked anyway. Lana to Walker towards Demari Gray. Not sure where they mind there, but Russia's got the ball back now. To Golovin, to Yurokushin, Walker wins the back twice. I'm not sure why he's so central, but I mean, if he's going to do things like that, then I'll take it. Jesse Lingard towards the centre of the pitch, toward, back towards Alana, doesn't quite get to it. Golovin cuts it out towards Smolov, got options left and right, chooses left, bit of a weird option. Yurokin, the guy I can't mention, and it looks like my pronunciation of his name is about as good as his shooting. To Lalana brings it down to Chalabar. That was a hell of a strike. Let's be honest. I'm pretty sure of Russia's first equaliser. First equaliser, what am I about? Their goal was a lot better than ours. Jeez, I'm making a hash of these commentary. But anyway, Kane knocks it down. Not sure what Lalana was doing. Just breaking for an opportunity. And Akinfeyev was already on the floor before. He even fell to Chalabar's feet. 
Lallana with England corner towards Dele Alli into the box shooting opportunity and he does take that I said the second one wasn't as good as Russia's goal but that one from Dele Alli might just be a King Fayev wasn't exactly well showing his best ability for this one but let's show this from Dele Alli it's the edge of the box brings it down no one's anywhere near him no one closes it down I can't if I have tries his best but for the third time in this game he has been beaten but um, the goal kick 15 minutes left free goal kick not really going into anyone Petrov to Berzutsky not sure how I can pronounce that name so Smolnikov to Zhagoev Kokorin Luke Shaw wins it back though Jesse Lingard towards Deli Alley bit injured in real life not sure if he'll play in real life but scored a hell of a goal in this game towards Jesse Lingard on the left hand side cuts in towards Dead Alley can he get a second towards Gray pass a bit wider than he probably wanted to Gray cross it in towards Dead Alley doesn't quite get there Lingard puts it back in the area gets it back puts it in the area again to Mari Gray back post England 4 Russian 1 to Mari Gray just I ain't gonna watch that back, but that was pretty good play from Jesse Lingard. Or the end of the four minutes out of time. Thrown from Russia and it goes backwards and there is full time. England had a performance there from other Russia, the hosts. If we're gonna put in performance like that, then I think we've got a pretty good chance of getting far in the groups, but let's be honest, we haven't faced anyone good yet. Not in proper games anyway. Just going to say this just for that. Kane injuries three weeks. Provided he f suffers no further setbacks, he could still feature at some point. England on form as Lingard scores. Dyer pleased with win. England on course. Optimistic. Mourinho was spotted. Mourinho's watching Harry Kane, apparently. Anyway, six days until that game against Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure it means a massive amount. Let's look at the groups at the moment. England top of their group with Russia second. And Chile for some reason not playing against Saudi Arabia yet. That's why they haven't got any points. Italy top of their group. Pretty easy group to be honest for Italy. USA and Iran top of their group. USA beat Wales. Wow. Germany top of their group. Holland top of their group. Brazil bottom. Holland beat Brazil, really. Spain, top of their group. Pretty big group. Belgium drawn their game. It's kind of surprising. Portugal haven't played yet. We've played two games and Portugal haven't played at all. A little bit weird, but anyway, that's the end of today's episode. Catch me next time for Saudi Arabia. And then the games after that. Anyway, Saudi Arabia should be a pretty easy win. But anyway... Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.